subtracting up to 10. We're asked to complete the number sentence. 6 minus 2 equals something. Well, let's think of 6 firstly. Let's get 6 cupcakes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 6 cupcakes. Now we need to minus 2. We need to subtract 2. We're going to do that by crossing them out. 1, 2. We've crossed 2 out. Now how many are left? 1, 2, 3, 4. So our answer is 4. 6 minus 2 equals 4. The next one we've got, 10 minus 3 equals something. Well, let's start with 10 scissors, 10 pairs of scissors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 pairs of scissors. Now we need to subtract 3. So this time we're just going to move them out of the way. 1, 2, 3. So how many are left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So our answer there equals 7. 10 minus 3 equals 7. This is pretty easy, isn't it? Complete the number story. Now we've got some apples there, but some of them have been crossed out. And then we've got something. Take away something leaves something. Hmm. Well, the first thing we're going to do is count out how many apples we'd have. Forget about the crosses for a minute. Let's count the number of apples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll write eight to start with. Now we look at this. Take away something. We can see the crosses would indicate what have been taken away. So let's count how many crosses. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we take away 6. And it leaves how many? 1, 2. So we write 2 there. So we've got 8, take away 6, leaves 2. That's the number story. Now looking at that number story, let's write the number sentence. We can write that as 8 minus 6 equals 2.